Coach, great group of seniors, great uh, body of work to be proud of over the course of these guys' careers. What, what's kind of the message to them and talk about this uh, 12th grade class you had? Oh, we just kind of talked about take a couple days, maybe a couple weeks to get over the sting of this one, but they've got to look back and see what they accomplished all the way through. You know, they've got a lot of good memories, a lot of, a lot of good experiences through the game of basketball, and we've been all over creation having fun doing it. And, and uh, those guys have made it easy. They're the first ones there, last ones to leave. Don't complain. They're in the weight room. They're working hard. You know, they make it. They make the job easy. Anybody can coach these guys. Anybody would want to coach these guys. They're a good bunch of kids. That first quarter, you stretched the lead up to eight. Things were looking really good. Up eleven to three. Up fourteen to six. What were some of the things that you relied on early? Well, I just thought we executed fairly well at the beginning of the game, and then we lost track of some of their shooters there. And, and after the after we got our big lead. And, uh, they got some open looks and a couple of putbacks, and then one of them was on, on an air ball short. I don't know how 33 got that one back up in there, and then giving the end one on top of that. So, uh, you know, the way it was, you know, they went zone. We ran a couple of plays there too, and, and uh, got some good looks. Got the ball to the lane. Trevor Schultz finished pretty well. Dakota was finishing. A couple of shots there in the middle of the second quarter, right in the middle of the lane that just didn't drop. A couple of them just rolled off that you know would have changed things, and then. You know, we, we didn't get, uh, didn't identify where people were out there at the end of the half. We hit that three and on the inbounds play that cut up to, cut up to six, and then we give a three right back to them at the other end. We didn't find, find that guy in transition, so put it back to nine. They had the momentum. It kind of changes your halftime speech a little bit. But, uh, you were able to cut it down. You were able to cut it down to nine there in the second half, but just kind of couldn't get over that hump. Yeah. yeah. I guess it, you know, the, the press, I don't really know if the press did much good or much bad. I don't. I thought it was kind of a wash. Uh, you know, we, we came out and played some zone because I'd seen him play. And sometimes they're not the most patient team in the world. I thought they might take a couple of quick shots and have some quick possession and get us the ball back going the other way. But the way it was, they did a nice job finding Pet up here and identifying where he was at and, and uh, really, really cheating out there a little bit. And, and, uh, and you know, we got the ball inside Dakota quite a bit. And he got some, some finishes. and. Uh, very physical, I thought. Uh, I don't really know if that really benefited anybody more than anybody else, but uh, but it definitely was was physical. But that's you know Dakota's been getting the tar beat out of him for four years now. I don't know how he does it. You know, all we ever do is tell him to keep his head and send him back in there again, and it just keeps happening. So I don't know how he does it every night. But, uh, but like I said, we had our chances to maybe get back in it, and just couldn't quite get over the hump, like you said.